Alright, we're gonna do this in one take. Welcome back to the channel guys. I hope you're all doing well and I hope you guys are excited that gyms are starting to open up, which is a good sign. I got my last two training days. I hit 428 pounds on the SSB, on a high box squat for, for a double. It moved a lot lighter than I expected, so I'm gonna make another change to the next week's training program uh, because I will be transitioning into a volume block. Now, the reason why I'm going into a volume block is one, uh, I, I am off season, so I have a lot more time to build more muscle mass and more volume as well, and more work capacity. So with the max effort days, they're pretty much going to be uh, top set uh, rep maxes. So we're going to see how that's going to fly. Uh, next week, I do have a big plan because on Tuesday, I do turn 30 and I plan on squatting 300 pounds or close to 300 pounds for 30 reps straight, not in a box. I did something very similar when I turned 25. I squatted 225 pounds for 25 reps. Uh, it was actually really fun. So. We're gonna see how this one goes for 300 pounds. I am gonna be using the SSB uh, just to kind of keep my shoulders safe and to build my upper back a little bit more. So after my box squats, I went on to a top set of deficit deadlifts. I only hit 315 pounds for a triple with a belt. Uh, the belt did throw me off a little bit. It was a little harder for me to reach at the bottom, so I should have loosened up my belt. Uh, but overall, it was, a really, it was really good. I'm uh, very happy with that. So for bench on my max effort day, I was a little bit too enthusiastic. Uh, I wanted to see how I would perform at uh, maximum peak arousal. And that's pretty much like how excited you are to make a lift. I wanted to take 405 for a ride, but I failed it. And it's pretty much, I, I did use a one board uh, just to keep consistency with training program and to work on that part. And I did get it off a little bit but clearly I failed the rep because I didn't lock it out or re-rack it. Training, you know, sometimes you fail this, sometimes you don't. So you just gotta take it with, uh, take your wins, take your losses and learn from them. So when you fail a lift, try to find out what's wrong. You know, get second, third, fourth opinions about it, uh, just to see where you can get stronger. So with that being said, uh, the rest of this week, I'm gonna be doing dynamic effort stuff, trying to work on more muscle, uh, more hypertrophy work. And next week, we're gonna switch over to the volume block. And yeah, I'll let you know how that goes. Uh, don't forget to like the video, subscribe, and hit the bell notifications so when I upload a video, you'll know when. But yeah, so until you, until I, I hate my outros. I really hate my outros. <laughs> but until then, see you guys next time.